melee, they go with, with the ranged instead of with... Yeah, super happy to see a game such as this one. I, I Actually, the meta is becoming a... It's not boring, it's not too stale, but you kind of see the same carries being picked 24-7. Like, I'm done with uh, Sven Morfling Luna Lifestealer, literally. And the Void, sorry. Faceless Void, of course. Oh, oh <laughs> not worth it. Oh wait, is it? You you still have to kill him, boys. He's got the movement speed advantage. He's got no huge way. movement speed, but no TP on him. Alright, they're gonna they're gonna cut him off, right? Blood grenade, hook back up. First blood with somewhere else. <laughs> oh, no. They get the first blood. No. Oh, it's uh, sure it's fun, but is it, is it good for the lane? Divai Lama? Is this good for the lane? Mm. Seb wants the right click, Tomato doesn't, now he goes back in. Uh, and they're gonna get it. So we got two kills, we got another one. Uh, this is a... <laughs> yeah, the, the draft is different, the on? gameplay is different. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know, for real, it, it's kind of okay in this situation, right? Like, you get hooked, you snowball out, which isn't that bad. Oh, that's a nice glimpse. That's a great glimpse. Not a nice one. Might be dead. Lizard, you gotta give the props. Where are the props? Where's his own snowball? Schofield's got his now, but it doesn't matter. As bot lane. Like, on this bot lane, you have some hook, you have some glimpse. Anything can happen very quickly. Schofield. Mm, I don't think they win this with only level 2 Iron Shell. Um, Tomato seems like that's going to be the case. He's got a pretty big one to be able to play with. It's not going to be enough health back. He'll still die in the end, but Seb might get the trade. Only level one in Glimpse is going to need that He's extra little bit of damage again, yeah. from the creeps, and yeah, he should be able to get it. So, Seb's going to be loving life with all the experience. Oh my ah. god, not enough. 20 health. Carry, you can go Dazzle. Like, uh, item people are kind of moving away from on, on TA. It's mostly like some D-Lance or, or Blink. I think Dazzle is pretty solid this game. You can farm up bot lane. Bottom. Nice block of the hook from the Vi Lama. Now that the snowball's got oh oh, oh cheeky. he's healing <laughs> up by the way. Might look to go back in afterwards. Still, yeah, I mean, yeah. this shell damage is a pretty big concern. The Y Lama doesn't have one on himself though, so it's and look still unfortunately not level six. So it's going to be a haste in top. Yoinked by Sorry. Rubik. Hmm. Can he kill KJ here? Like, he can't TP, right? Like, if you TP, he's just gonna lift you, so... This might be a kill for He's dead, like I think. solo one, yeah. He's yeah, got... it is. It's a... It's solo. He's got to... He's got to... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's a good kill. He hit, just hit his six. Schofield. Okay. I mean, Ari's still around. And Tomato with the six ready to go. Vacuum's gonna be able to cancel it. Schofield should still die nonetheless. And also on the other side of the map, BZM finds a solo kill onto Analog's last track. You talked about this TA plus Disruptor combo and how strong it Top is. Top lane? Alright, well, K1's gonna get his own solo kill. Will he? Will he? Oh, he's Will a little bit worried about going to the trees. Okay. And wait, Too now if he trees. goes in the lane, is he not just dead? He's got Fintan. Uh, they're just gonna... Nah, but Ari's Fintan. gonna hold telekinesis and they got glimpse as well. Okay, I... Someone's gotta do something about Seb this game. Because these glimpses... You're gonna have some big disruptor issues. You pick a, you pick a Darkseid, you pick a Wind Ranger. BCM's also... Fun and a lot of fun with the Ancient Stack. It'll be Dragon Lens completed. You have Darkseid yeah. top net worth though with the mech and they're ready to come. K1 through the portal. Hook's there, but uh, Tomato, he's going to be killed off as well. So, Heroic looking to play around with their strongest hero in the game and... <laughs> My game crashed as well. <laughs> oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. Nice little replay. All right, we're back. Never mind. Bye, Tomato. Radiance tower is under attack. Open up the T1 tower mid. I feel like uh, they do have heroes that play well when they're um, advancing. 
instead of just trying to defend. So I wouldn't mind seeing a lot of movements from them, like this one on Schofield. Okay, this is whatever a pick off. But one, you can uh, mess with this member as well on Pudges. He's going to He's not going to get the BKB or anything like that. Do I like it too much? I, I'm not sure what to make of it. The Lai Lama. Nice snowball. Well done, Schofield. Whisper's hunting, though. On the prowl, moving on forward. They are starting to rotate, though, on Heroic. It's going to be Analog that's pivoting to the north. Radiant and Mirror in this as well. BZM wanting to follow his fellow mid laner. Mm, Heroic are very shortly again. going to realize they don't have the numbers. Schofield's snowball is back up if he needs to dodge the glimpse. They want to turn to Analog instead. Static Stormer with the tick damage. It looks like he's in some danger. KJ's going to be able to repair him. Vacuum's out, and now with the turn, it's looking great for Heroic. The combo from Run. the Vailama, the sustain as well. They just bait OG into a bad fight. The Medic not only there from the Pugna, but along with the Darkseer puts him in a position where they can go back in to handle the pressure. Seb? Looks like it's going to be a bit of a free pick for Analog. Much needed kill as well for the less track with the slower start that he's had, but that kill will pole vault him over. With the Greaves were a fantastic pickup. Timado is very close to his agonies, yeah. Five gold away. Oh, they're going to be able to cancel the dismember instantly, but OG are ready to respond and divide Llama. He just doesn't have a lot of armor to be able to deal with BZM's damage output. Still K1 tries to snipe, but it's not enough. Didn't charge up the power shot, and now Whisper flies in for the cleanup. All right, they... OG, oh, you lacking it's, it's the ball, man. It's, you saw one right there. That's the Decrepify that you can use. But later on, you can buy some Shivas on Lash. It's not all doom and gloom for him, but definitely a problem that you have to worry about. KJ. Look at the kill on KJ, but top lane really. Another important kill. And Whisper. Wow. Mm, died much faster than I was really expecting. No doubt of the damage, but the DD on, on analog, they were able to rip through him, so. Le Lesh did struggle early on. Like he Yeah, that right click and carry. They might get her. Tomato has a blink. There's static storm, there's blink. And doesn't have the Aegis as well. Or maybe KJ, no oh, way. Is KJ actually going to be able to keep him alive? If he oh, cancels he the live drain or something, and um, now Disruptor, I'm um, killed off. Tomato splits off to the north, but Divide Llama, I mean, meanwhile, actually, Ari as well, attempting to TP out, but they're going to have the yours from Analog. So Ari will not be able to escape. But yes, importantly, Tomato does make it away. So you are, of course, uh, happy with that exchange. Did... What he, happened he, with the he, life drain? Hmm. He might go on analog as well. Like he has ages here. Let's go your scepter on analog to try and stall this out. He's got some boys coming as well. Not gonna use on the first life. Dark is Are you ready for the respawn? Whisper's gonna be able to jump over the top. I mean, we see how much burst potential they have with a snowball. Where's it going? Great placement. Vision that creeps Ooh, in a whisper. Deep. Oh, and he got BKB, but far too late. An aggressive tip from Divide Lama. You're going to win the team fight, though. If you're going to tip like that, and well, maybe with less track charging in, they should be able to. That's but the Shackles nice K1 shackle. lands onto the tree. Split Earth as well. Heroic find a second. Whisper, whisper. Uh, they can catch him pretty easily with the surge. He's going to direct them straight to the rest of the heroes as well. A BZM's in a lot of danger, of and it's not going to matter if you try and protect yourself with the meld. They can easily rip you apart with the AoE damage. Divide Llama almost caught up to Ari too, so... I, did he... I think he got the BKB. I believe he bought out. Yes, he did, so... Yeah, without them, you're so much stronger. And uh, they do see Timado as well, and look at them. They're just running at him from the other side. He doesn't have a... doesn't have... They're tipping to the outpost. It's just one. I mean, it's only Seb. Uh, has anyone else got TP's? Not really. Tomato's gonna die after the flesh sheep, and now Seb reveals himself as well. And look at this KJ. Doesn't. Yeah, can't really do a lot on his own.
for heroic because it's really not a lot. But the illusion. Hey, one smokes in a pot. They should know, and they guess correctly as well with the telekinesis snowball. Snowball. Keeps him alive momentarily. Static Storm on the retreat as well, but the BKB, K1's gonna spot. be able to respond, but eyes on Dubai Lama, cause he's huge! Wall drags them all back, and now the utility has arrived, and OG need to get out. They stole the wall. Let's see what Ari's gonna be able to do with this now, but it's only on to Analog, it's not the greatest. BZM still in trouble, K1's gonna poke him down from afar. The Vi Lama again, this Darkseer from him this game. Well, no one really popped out too far though from OG. Any hooks? Vine yeah. Llama's a bit deep. Honor's gonna protect himself with the BKB, so no cancel at the dismember. Kinetic fields are frustrating for the Vine Llama as well. This could be that opportunity they've been waiting for. Whisper though. Gonna be able to protect himself with the BKB, not BCM's gonna jump over the top as well. They need more and they'll get it. Damage from BZM is huge. A secondary kill. K1 of the TPR. He oh, won't escape. Tomato's there. You got him. All right. OG. Little bit of high ground magic from themselves. Heroic. Stick around for a little bit too long. Play a fine line and OG punish them. Three big kills in this net worth lead. Darks here with the Pudge. And then on top of that, use the Axe Static Storm. The team fight should be easy for OG. Right over the jump and he didn't activate the BKB. Is there going to be a cancel the dismember? Is the heals enough to keep the less track alive? It looks like it won't be the case. BZM. Once again, showcasing his raw damage output. Now it's not good enough for Heroic. They're going to be forced to retreat. Can they get the glimpse catch though? They're hunting OG. Oh, the hook. Senses is an opportunity for them to find a little bit more, but... Their throne is being hit. At least the tier 4 is but. They will be forced. Dude, what the hell is with these couriers? This looks like Sky over Europe, like... Oh, Hex. Just completed. Tomato is gonna get jumped straight away, but he's not gonna mess around with the BKB. The wall from the Vine Llama is not that good, but BZM... He's getting hunted. You wanted the Wind Ranger to try and find the Templar Assassin, but the shards actually works in their favor. BZM escapes. And now Heroic. I mean, fighting on multiple fronts, they're going to be able to run into Ari, but... I mean, OG do not care at all. You get a buyback out of Divai Lama, and you... It, it just feels like it's a much better position for OG, just because they have all this room to play with, good vision, traps, even with the smoke. And he got him. And look, this time, instant Schofield cancel. And now the double shackle as well, but the static storm's gonna be there. They need to deal with KJ. Life Drain's gonna be able to keep the less track alive for the moment. BZM's not continuing to hit into analog, so he's okay. And meanwhile, K1 is just pummeling into Whisper. The tip is gonna go down solely to the focus fire. And over to the left side, Tomato. He's by his lonesome self. He's got no OG members to play with. Because they are soon all about to die. BZM somehow. With the tricks, this cloak is able to escape. So, no Aegis on the Wind Ranger. This actually gives you a chance to kill her. They're gonna see Whisper first, though. Let's see if they're gonna have the burst potential for the reaction. Nice hook. Tomato gets him out now with the Look Static Storm as well. Clipped onto two, and importantly, Schofield got caught. No snowball save. Age is gonna be dealt with. Divine Llama's ready to go up on the high ground. They're not even gonna give him the opportunity, but the OG respect is there, because... They see K1 down to the south. Oh, Finally, the wall is going to be laid down. It's not really good enough for Heroic. Once again, the kiting from OG. They could go back in afterwards if they see an opening. Potentially, oh, that's where the hook comes in. But wow, snuck on pass. And all Everything falls apart for Heroic. <clears throat> that's what they did in the last fight. So they got the task. They got the ages. Whisper? Whisper though, no BKB. Whisper? Again, Tomato. Another hook to save it, Brighton. Now in. Tomato wants to run in. No Cancel's gonna be there thanks to Analog. Have they got any way to hold him into place? The life drain from KJ. Multiple times, you either gotta worry about the tusk or the, the save from the medic, but it's not enough in the end. K1 will still go down. 100 seconds, and they got the vision now for the glimpse. Divai Lama. Ninja Gear, Scurry's out. He's okay. Lane. 
Yeah, strategically it's always easier to play, right? And look at this mid lane. Like, they might even force a uh, glyph here. Well, you gotta be careful. Oh, we got the static storm off beforehand. They're gonna try and jump snowball. in, and there's the snowball! BKB before he entered the static storm on Schofield, so K1's gonna be okay. They should at least be able to get the task right in. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna cut their losses. Good job! Realizing what he has to do, jumps in. And these kind of plays are probably necessary for Heroic right now. They need to find ways to to take advantage of this. Hell of an aggressive creeps. jump. They're even gonna buy back on Schofield, but he's gonna be very far away from connecting to the team fight. K1 forced to sidestep the aggression out of Whisper. It still looks... It doesn't look easy for Heroic in this current location. There's still a 4v5. Is. It won. It's okay. Schofield, aggressive jump. They got eyes on Seb. They can take the Static Storm out of the equation. That's going to be used into by Llama. Finds a big wall as well. Oh, here. On to three, but Templar Assassin has arrived. She's going to try and showcase her damage, but it's just not enough. They stand strong against it all. BZM should be able to escape under the cover of the BKB. TP. Can Ari as well as Whisper get away? It looks like Whisper's going to be held short. K1 catches up with the Gleipnir. At least Whisper will be playing with a buyback. Maybe I'll get him, right? Four stars, telekinesis. Left. Oh, they don't get him, but the high ground is still got chain. And he gets out. Well done. They're disconnected. K1 is That's not no currently fire. with the boys. And now he's going to go into the portal and instantly drop into the static storm. Buyback. They're going to get a buyback on an analog, and this is a heavy investment. Still taking a fight without Tomato, who's about to respawn shortly, so it's up to Whisper to get the damage output. You've got the outpost for raining. That's the big advantage to be able to TP back Is in. He? Where is he? Oh, to the He's north. Dead. He's gone. Okay. Seb runs into Schofield. Seb. He's got force. <gasps> He's got force. Oh, boy. Any hook? But Tomato! They're going to be able to find analog on the low ground. Ari will be able to keep his Templar Assassin alive, but Tomato is in. K1 as well K1. finds an angle for the Shackle nice onto shackle. two. What's the call though? Who, who does he want to try and target down with a focus fire? Refresh is going to be used as well, but the BKB wants to get before the Static Storm. K1 wants to go towards Seb. He's going to be rewarded with a kill on two, the Disruptor. But now they are deep inside OG's Tomato. base, but meanwhile, Analog almost out of mana. Tomato is going to be able to get the Dismember off. Is someone else there for the damage? Whisper! Tries to jump in. Analog's okay. Heroic, oh, they need to reevaluate this fight. It's looking scary. Any glimpse? Should be glimpses couple very shortly. Schofield. A slight jump from KJ. Pugna. Tomato, another aggressive jump in. Schofield, he's down. KJ as well is going to join him. Divide Llama. Charging into the middle. They got Dismember, though. The One at the gem at the cost of his life. Three down. The hold versus Megas. Yeah. Or he replaced it. I'm not even sure. It doesn't matter. Uh, inside the base? Uh, Seb is already Raxes. setting up onto the, onto the Wind Ranger. So they've TP back for this. Tomato's got a BKB to escape. No way, K1. Is he actually going to be able to get the barracks before the kill? Oh, he's getting it. Oh, he got it. Are you serious? He, enough, he has no buyback. He needs 50 gold. He has no buyback. Okay, they cancel Tomato's TP as well. We're just going to try and play with the, the dismember, but it will not matter. He doesn't have buyback as well. Tomato. Really uh, acting strong on the front line. Muscofield pulled back no quite right, so this is going to be a dieback. Meanwhile, BZM refraction burnt down to the low ground, but K1 with a giant shrink can chase him. And BZM's got no buyback too. Where is your damage now without the Templar Assassin? OG split on two fronts. Ari to the right. He's getting surrounded. They're on Whisper as well. Seb as well with the back lines getting chased down. Where are the Pirate Hats? Buyback Pirate Hat. Oh, the 30 gold he needs for buyback. Someone. The Lama's going to be in though. Seb. All the chaos. It's making it difficult for them to be able to use these items. There we go. He got it. He's got buyback. And he's gonna use it. What's the response now from Oro? Tomato? Fine to jump in down to the south. There's a big kill. Tusk on. That's a dieback for them as well. We're gonna keep eyes on throne. 
Okay, one focus fight up set and Seba trying to go for the objective. He wants the kills instead of ending the game and that's going to be the cost of his life. And now Analog as well inside the base. He's got an Aegis, but it's not going to matter. OG. They will stand strong once again. Another day. They'll survive. They should be able to get Analog on the respawn and Heroic trying to get out with all their remaining members. They get Dubai? Oh, he's got Blink up. Oh. oh my god, the R is close though. Blink as well from him is Surge. Yeah, he's chasing, he's chasing. Blink and Surge, like, this Rubik is... His cooldowns are lower, of He's course. gonna get him. Ooh, get Ooh him. what's going on? Who's Wait, who's got who? Who, who? Who's got who? They're coming though. <laughs> I mean, he can chase. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is a big one. K1. Or is it teeping in? Too. Rainbow Teep is out. K1's gonna be okay though. BKB is gonna excite surely. They're gonna oh. be able to get the glimpse beforehand. Oh, he's sent back. Abyss of Blade out as well. Whisper's gonna hold him down with this snowball. Oh, no, no way, not again, not again. Okay, this time they're gonna have a response as soon as the snowball spies. Now Schofield as well is in some danger. I mean, what the white llama almost dies to one right click. They're thrown. They're thrown. They don't have a TP, but yes, someone needs to keep tabs on the throne. Seb's gonna TP back to base. Analog's gonna be in as well. Are they gonna be able to make it out on OG? Looks like Tomato will escape. Everyone is out. You get a huge buyback out of the Wind Ranger as well. Nasty work with the refresher. This observe what's counting K1's huge. They're gonna catch K1! It's a dieback! He just pulled no back. Oh my OG! Okay, Lash needs to. Let's Lash needs to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like instant by Llama as well. Ah, uh, you gotta to have this even. Oh. Like you have megas, right? Like you can you can just wait it all out. Just wait for your TA. For your Windrunner, sorry. They're gonna fight. Oh, back and roll. They don't want to give them that opportunity to be able to get the Mega. Static Storm is there before the BKB. But importantly, KJ is on the outskirts. Tomato's Tomato gonna look to try it. and enter and play with the Dismember. KJ, there we go. There's the live train. Analog's fine. Tomato wants to try and run oh, past it and deal with the Pug. No, Hook's gonna be there then with the Aeon disactivated. Analog's fine in the middle of the team fight, and this is just valuable seconds getting wasted, ticking down the death timer of the Wind Ranger. This is dangerous for OG even. DZM no buyback. Has to be very careful. Should be Megas though. Should be Megas here even against... Oh man, still by Llama. An aggressive jump in, but there's no follow-up. And now they've got the damage onto Analog as well. Once BZM's able to lock onto his target, Analog protected. KJ's gonna keep him alive. 10 seconds into the wind range up. Have they got the damage to be able to kill Analog beforehand? Static Storm once again with the hook. That's great, Tomato! Gets the medic on the back line. Now BZM is just having a free fight. This Templar assassin. We gotta run. Ripping them apart. Can they get out such a heavy investment on Heroic? Whisper cuts down one. But K1 is yeah, back to the world of the living. BZM, oh, no way it gets out. That was so close. Like, you know what? Like, this is a 70 minute game right now, but they have the ultimate scaling on Timado. He's going in. 6.3k HP, like, doesn't hold oh, the whole We got him. Oh, we got him! Tomato! <laughs> he was in vision, like... The assault continues. Such a fine line needs to be played. OG, they've had incredible defenses. Heroic, can they have their own? Nice stun from Analog, on to three, sets up for the drag back. Vacuum wall is pretty goddamn good. Can they capitalize though? BZM with the telekinesis is going to get himself down to the low ground. BZM's going to be cautious though. K1's yeah. going to be able to try and find him on the back line, Ooh. but he just turns. He go? BZM. Red crits raining in. Now onto analog as well. Life drain's going to be there. Will it matter in the end? Snowball over to the right side, but BZM will continue to hunt, continue to chase. There is one opportunity left, and this is th the fight right now for them to win it all. And BZM, an instant buyback, projection in, and OG have done it. 72 minutes, 
a game one thrill up for our second series. 21 kills. Feels good, man. Oh, this is probably one of the best games that I've seen in Elite League. They should be. Guilty, but. It's mostly all about the damage. Scarefoot does have, uh, has done a good job though to start the lane. I'll hold that. K1 gets a lucky bash on Ari top lane, and now with the glimpse back, this will be Another our first one. blood whisper. Oh. <gasps> It'll be our first blood, but it's it's OG that get it first. Bash and bashes on that bashes bash. Mado. I'm in some danger. No Stun's gonna be there from Divide Lama. And mana. Which means no health for you. Get the kill, kill field. Doesn't matter. Seb is really doing a lot of damage in this tower him. as well. And yeah, he's gonna get him. Tower oh, aggro wasn't lost. changed fast he's enough. Not gonna get him. Purge. He's got no mana for it. Oh. Uh, he. Dire structures are fortified. Uh, it does seem like it's going to be a bit of a different game as well. Wisp also snipes his own courier. And Schofield's more than likely dead. Seb's going to be able to cut him off. The White Llama will deal with the creeps. KJ as well comes through the portal. Schofield actually still sticking around, still kicking. and They have a glimpse. Oh, Snake is up in a second. Got some big one charges as well. Is this a kill? I don't know, Tomato oh, might be able to get yes. Schofield, he does with his last right click and still's got those one charges as well and yeah, he's not going to die meanwhile as well. There was a kill in the mid yeah. one and a big one too onto Analog. And that's what we were warning about, right? Like this tiny rotating in, getting a good rune. That's the nice, nice rotation with the Invoker who's moving bot. Gonna get the Vailama as well. Oh boy. Tomato. The Blava return kill, but Tomato's not even gonna die in. Came Boots, Magic Wand. She's already working with a lot of mana. And the urn, I believe, is completed on BZM. He's TPing God. Oh, the Vailama is like one experience point away from six. Even then, probably not gonna matter with BZM TP. We're starting to run to top. Schofield and KJ were starting to move, but. BCM, he's dusted. There's that dust. And they need, need to be able to convert onto the kill. It looks like they will. Stun from the centaur. Should be able to get a return. Ari with a big one as well. Now Whisper's going to be in with the damage. That's what they were lacking. Analog's going to be hunted down. They'll even find all three as well. Nice rotation out of Whisper and the duo supports from OG. This is very nice. He's got Arcane Boots. It's level 6 almost. <laughs> BZM now down bottom. They have Stampede though on the Vailam. Uh, no mana right. though. <clears throat> mm, will he? No, he won't. No mana. No mana. Not, nothing that he can do. Uh, they're, they're crumbling a bit on Heroic. They need to find a way to use this Flash mid. Mid lane now. And this is a little bit more ambitious. And Divai Lama is going to get some revenge as well. That Hand of God will do nothing. A uh, really much needed kill just to stop the momentum that was. Ari as well. Okay, okay no man. Ari, never mind, yeah. So it looks like they him. will. That's a streak as well for Analog. Christian with all the creeps he's got. K1's gonna be forced to leave. Maybe not though. He's got Chrono and some teammates coming. They get a glimpse of BZM. And they'll be able to drag him back to Analog as well. So second death in a row, and this is where you can start to take a look at the net worth graph and say there's there's kill potential on any of these heroes. And we're gonna see that bottom lane as well to divide Lama, BZM. We'll be able to prevent the stampede away thanks to the tornado, so. Another death on Divide Lama getting closer. He was to the blink, but... Can he kill him alone? Jesus, look at the damage. 
Oh, Whispers here. We saw what happened last time around this area. K1, though. Left into the middle. It's okay, but... Unfortunately, if Anna looks on the low ground, it's not going to matter, though, with a glimpse. It is enough in the end. K1 had the boys behind him to be able to get what damage he was currently lacking. So, four deaths now for PZM. He's got Blink on Timber. He can go in if he wanted to. Just maybe not enough damage from him alone. They need Medusa here. If he doesn't go soon, though, Ari's going to die. Tomato will join. And Whisper's now going to try and jump with the stone gaze. It'll separate them away from the tiny. So Ari's going to be protected. It's been difficult for him to get anything going since those early movements here. But at least you do have some other heroes that are having a pretty good time. It does look like heroic, though, well, considering about fighting. Double tornado pushback from Schofield puts him in an awkward position. But meanwhile, as well with the static so it's great. KJ connects onto three. That's going to protect K1. It was, was a little bit vulnerable. Now, Divide Lama's going to show up with the blink reveal as well as Whisper's gone. Him any other way. And with Ari here, though, unless the courier scouts him. Look at this. Look at this. This is so unlucky. Ah. Oh, oh, they know. Nice avalanche. Well done. Well done. It's a big kill on... <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Secu they are wanting to maybe think about it, go top lane. And, well, if the Lama sees a freebie, he's never going to pass that one up. Now, Analog and KJ as well... Could be in a position for a glimpse pretty shortly. A little bit awkward with sending Whisper up to the north. It's going to scout them out, which means BZM. He can react. Importantly, they're not on the invoke, but it's not going to matter. They'll lose Whisper. Tomato's going to show up to the team fight. The Fuser Blade oh, yet to be delivered from him. And Analog's Inv is actually enough to be able to keep him alive. And now, Heroic. What's the call oh, for them? Is this a fight they want to look to disengage? Divai Lama back in with the burst potential. BZM goes down. Divai Lama now still in some danger. Tomato finally the defusal play does get delivered. He's going to be rewarded. Plenty of damage for him to be able to deal with. Already time walking away. They were just pushing. <gasps> Ari, oh, we went back him. to farm it. Oh, no way. Came, no way. How is he alive? Dodges the tornado as well. K1. Probably would have died if that connected, but now it just all sets up perfectly for the Static Storm. They'll all tick out after it. Whisper just wants to take KJ into the grave with him, but he will not even get that. So that was a bit of a juicy kill with all the net worth he's got. Who supports the Vailama as well will leap in. That's a lot of gold. Ooh, ooh, KJ. I just... KJ, run. The Keep him alive! Oh, they got it. Mm. Oh, sounds like... Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Claimed. Yo, what the, what the hell? So, look at the wisdom runes. On Radiant oh, side. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you are stealing their wisdom runes. Ari. You're not getting your own. Ari. Tornado's gonna do an okay job to disrupt, but it doesn't clip onto the Lama, so... It's gonna be okay. Simultaneously, of course, that Aegis was still... Getting worked on by Tomato, so he's got the second life now for the Medusa. I have a, a good fight in which some Chrono is wasted. Um, but usually you farm with the first stages, you have smoke pot. BZM's in great spot on the high ground. Divide Lama's still gonna be able to get the initiation, but there's no one there to follow up with the stun, so BZM. He can freely spell cast. And Divide Lama? Really isolated. Divide Lama's. He wants to actually go back in, but the pipe's gonna mitigate too much of the damage. And now Ari as well. Everyone just left him. Everyone left of Ilami. He thought maybe he had some boys to play with, but not to nope. be. They wanted nothing to do with that. Absolutely abandoned. The tier 2 bottom wasn't taken, but maybe they can take this one mid. Schofield's trying to creep skip. BZM will catch him for sure. This is a disperser in Walker, yeah. Can't, can't escape. <laughs> a bit too fast, yeah. A1? Top. Yeah, Ari is coming. He's gonna be able to catch him on the edge. Chain control might be the thing in question. Disruptor is around as well. 
Aris combo is going to be back up in a couple of seconds. KJ is going to be able to snipe out the invoker over to the right side. Ooh. I guess holds the tiny back. And now Whisper as well with a jump over. Wait, is he going to be able to TP out? That's such a crazy well four stuff, but he makes it. Meanwhile, now Ari was still actually able to get to K1. Dude. What a sequence of events. I am. And they get Scofield again, top. Ari might jump, though. Oh, I see it's an easy target being there. Just the Divine Lama's going to be able to line up the double stun. Again, no one is here. BZM's going to be able to land another sun track. Nice timing with a stun from Seb. Not long enough, unfortunately, though. Okay. Oh, they don't want to fight him. Oh, Ar dude! Uh, this guy's... Okay. <laughs> I thought he tossed him back. He's so crazy. To You're doing it. The boys, they're just as crazy in as well. BKB. This hero actually scales them, like, insanely into the late game. Ari, he's got him. Okay, when are they going to be able to blow him up before the BKB? They won't. He jumps for Ari. Should be able to kill him. They're going to line up for the Chronosphere as well. But the damage, it's not there for the Medusa. K1, he didn't even kill Ari. He's still and living. And out of the disarm, Ari's okay. He's got and like, now it's he's a out. mess of a team fight. Ari's going to... Oh, okay, Dwai Lama shuts him down inside the river. BZM's going to be able to sash over the gyrocopter as well, but K1 had to commit even further. We'll get some separation. But the hunt is on. OG will catch up to the Faceless Void. Now they're even looking for more as well. Whisper, so mobile with the blink. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to cancel the TP out, so... On top of that, the Greaves, then on top of that, Hand of God, and... Uh, Whisper? That's a lot of damage. Oh my, they got him. Okay. Well, nothing for the Chen to save over there. He's going to try and find an awesome. angle, but in fact, it's the Vai Lama that starts first. Double on the back line. Analog wants to try and charge in the middle. They've got to respect the Alacrity Medusa. Analog down to half with the Bloodstone activated. It's going to be able to repair some of the damage. And Ari's getting chunked down as well. They're doing a really good job just to avoid Tomato at all costs. And Look at the kiting for Heroic Schofield over the right side. Tomato now. He's going to eat a hell of it up in five seconds. The Vailama should be able to get it off. He's going to be on the right do so. It doesn't even no matter in the end. Once the man is gone, the Vailama is going to be fine. He'll survive on a slither of health. And an incredible team fight for them. Great kiting overall. They leave the Dusa to last. And wait at the Medusa. Can they do that for a second time in a row? Ari is Ari's in, in a very interesting spot in the tree line. What a damage onto the gyrocopter to be able to start as well with the sun track on the mark. Schofield will go down. First blood given Chrono. over. Nemo K1 though. He caught the cr uh, invoker inside the bubble. BZM. Oh, they don't have the damage to activate the BKB. He's able to retreat out to safety. Now analog as well. Uh, this is, You just got to call it quits. The fight didn't look good for you. If you could just lose the gyro, you'd be pretty happy. BZM. Maybe Divide Lama can get the kill. No way. Divide Lama. Or at least gets a kill into BZM. He's even going to try and TP over. They got any stuns? Oh, oh my god. Ari had... Yules. Yules was on cooldown. He's got Daedalus now. Like, uh, up, to, up to this point, they didn't really have enough damage. It felt like they're going in. Void is not here. If they can get the kill into the tiny, it's going to be a lot of their control inside the fights, but... We've seen previously they can avoid the Deuce, and now it's going to be more difficult with the Daedalus. The Glimpse will send her away, Analog Lesh. charging in, but... Big stun, Windwalker 8k1 Big though. Chrono. He wants in. Chrono on to 2, the BKB was activated, it's going to be mitigating some of the damage, but the Bash has continued to rain in. K1 can now jump over to Seb. And with the BKB shortly expiring from Tomato, they can kite him afterwards. It's... Oh, Whisper! A lot of damage with no the Whirling Death, though, but it doesn't matter. Tomato's out of mana. Whisper's gone as well. Heroic only have one casualty, and that's the Centaur. Divai Lama. Mega Creeps. Last game, maybe they can do the same thing this time around. Potentially, oh, they're going to be taking this high ground defense without Ari, though, and... Yep, he's gone. 
trying to connect back to the team. He's got a buyback at least. The buy alarm is also not with the team as well, which is... You can't really yeah, dodge this to... fight. You, you have to take it. They will oh. get your megas, right? Like, they have to wrap behind and start fighting. Ah, uh, they're gonna go back. Are you gonna try and look for the kills into Seb? Disrupt that goes down, but... K1's just getting megas. No, he got him, yeah. And now he's got Krona ready to go. Good timing of the death thing blast, but it's not gonna matter. BKB wasn't there fast enough from BZM. He's got a buyback. Uh, it's just really all on Tomato to be able to turn the tides. They might be able to get the face this way, but the BKB expiring. BZM's buyback's gonna be able to offer the control. Schofield is probably the tricks that Cloak's able to get out of cover, but not for too long as the gem is there to scout him out. Can they catch and more? That's the only question. Surely this is not almost a repeat. Analog plays the BKB TPR. Doesn't look like there's going to be a way to cancel it. I think it's much, much it's harder just... for them to... Yeah, it, it's different now. That they're queued up. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe it's possible. He's going in. Invoker has trouble, so he can join. I mean, Divine Lama can die, I think, but the double damage room? No way. No way. Not this again. Back. Are they throwing? Yeah, they're going thrown. Yeah, they're going they thrown. are. Uh, still a quarter oh. duration left on DD. Divine Lummer again will jump in. And again, it's going to be tossed away. Stampy all cool down for another 15 time. seconds. There's no mana on Medusa, though. That is the big concern. Tomato, very vulnerable now without the mana pool to play with. Their base as well. Yeah, they're going to go back, but they have to be careful. Glimpse is there. Seven spot. You just, you just gotta leave him. They're gonna get Ari as well, though. And if you all stick around, then uh, that means no one's going back to defend the base. So you just have to kind of cut your losses. At least these heroes. Never mind. Ari doesn't have a buyback. That's him down for 100 yeah. seconds. If they do, right? They have Glyph at least. Yeah. They ha don't have a buyback on Medusa, though. Don't you just go in, Chrono? This. They're just chucking everything. Every single spell onto the Medusa with the Chronosphere as well. And they're going to be able to kill her from 4-0 to zero by the looks of it. And that should be the game. Over to Heroic. Nothing left in the arsenal. It has been tomato or bust. Whisper's going to do whatever he can. There's still a cliff to buy Lama. Finds a beautiful son on the back line. And we will go the distance for our second series of the night. Ah, just enjoyable games. Game one, even crazier than game two. Game two kind of ended a little bit easier. OG, are they are they putting Gyro Rubik into him? That's my Gyro, right? Like KJ is playing it. Okay, they they might be able to. Like with, with KJ playing this Gyro, it's a lot of magic damage. They might even get Ari. Ari is dead. Mm. Not actually, unless the body blocks are on point. Nicely done from K1. Another round of the rocket barrage. And it's going to be kill and they'll give it a K1 too. Scofield going on edge actually. It's a lot of damage. Right, a Without him, it's it, it's very unlikely that they can kill Whisper now. He's level 5. Should be, should be harder to kill. We'll get the kill to Seb though nonetheless. Analog's gonna get a freebie, even gets a Cory. He's used all his ultimate charges on Analog, though. BZM's actually gonna swing on over. Cole's gonna get laid down. A lot of hate for Schofield, but really the only person they would have been able to kill with the lack of damage that is currently there from them. Cool. Mm -hmm. well, he can he can give you all the tankiness that's necessary, but nothing more. Maybe that tankiness is gonna be able to help out here, though. So gonna be cautious. K1's rotation. He's got the Chrono with the ready, so feeling like he can get involved. He's gonna There's lay down lift, the ultimate. Maybe. Is there much afterwards though? Schofield gets the stun. A little bit late to prevent the jaunt. Analog still thinking of going, but Vizian was thinking about going for that invis rune, which would be, would have been crazy. Um, but yeah, nice rotation from him. He uses the Chrono, doesn't get the kill, but respectful KJ. 
Yeah, well, he'll keep a kill, kill over. Redfield's going to come through the portal as well. There's currently a numbers advantage from Dyer. Even Bees Yem's looking to move towards the bottom side, but nice Analog's going to be the, the turning tide. Not where the call is going to land like that. Divine Llama's got the black hole ready, but there's just no angle to be had for him. Everything defensive. Analog out with his last astral step as OG. I mean, if this is now, like, unfortunately for the faceless void. I'm Schofield coming down. Event kill Seb. Man, but the damage from KJ. Seb's actually looks like he might be okay. One point in the nature's attendant. Enough to be able to repair the damage. And Seb just... Well, I'm so sure. How much is this healing? It's not a lot, but they uh, spread it. That, that's what happened. Like, uh, he spread the damage between him and the... For Seb top, but... <laughs> Okay, again. <laughs> At the roof of the analog. Oh, I mean, he had to. He had to do on. Beautiful spell casting. Analog. On point with the remnant, forcing BZM to jaunt directly on top of the heroes that were smoked. I believe still under the cover of. And now the white llama as well. Blink and black hole. Tomato's gonna try and move in to be able to cancel it. He does so at least to be able to get some spells off from Whisper before he dies, but the damage has been dealt. It's now up to Tomato to turn the team fight. And the right clicks are already adding up at this stage of the game, but K1 finds the big Cronus V on to two. Analog's going to be able to get the damage in once it expires. I'll think twice about going for Ari. Not even, not, not even close. I mean, he had the wand, he had uh, three bottle charges. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mid lane oh. though. Reach and go. Schofield. Runs into Seb. Aharawa stole his creep by the way. Playing a little bit faster than OG at this stage of the game. Which is in one way, like, yeah, I've heard the voice spirit a bit that he's not getting pick offs with it. At the same time, you just had a fight with Chrono and Black Hole and you, it was a decisive win. You can just wait for the same spells to be online, which they are now, and fight again. Oh, they're going way too deep for this. Oh, it's just far too deep! Oh no, they got faded. Yeah, it is. You're gonna get the kill in the Void Spirit. KJ as well, and they'll run into them. Tomato is out of mana, and Divine Lama is ready to go for the Arcane Black Hole. On to two once again, but the song from BZM and the Avalanche on to three. All of them are going to die in the Chrono. It's just the icing on the cake that in fact that he misses everyone. He'll get a kill, but it doesn't look like he's going to escape as well. OG. Dangle their members. They bait the puck. They get him back to the tower. Heroic overstep. Back live. Again, Seb. Oh, finally, they're going to be able to secure the kill. Ari's in with a combination. They're going to try and deal with the secondary support, and OG will be rewarded with that kill. And what with the faceless void's in some trouble. Beast him with the all sets up for the Sans, and once he drops back down with the control, should Blink come out tiny. shortly from Ari. Makes it back to the tower, but it is not enough. OG continuing to pursue on and on inside Heroic's territory. In the early to mid game. The right Lama. He's caught as well. Wow. This is the biggest difference. Like, th this right here is the biggest difference between uh, the gameplay that they have to have. On one side, you have this Timber just jumping in, going cam. On the other, you have. I think regardless, it's a very good item on Pox, so yeah. I mean, and Bizium, Bizium knows his stuff, so. Smoked up analog, they see him. And Ari's gonna be in to follow very shortly as well with the burst potential. He should tick out, but he gets the pulse, it's not gonna matter. But maybe the absorption could keep him alive into some follow up damage. It feels like they're a bit scared to leave the base. Like, even this smoke feels like, let's just forward it up. Oh, whisper. whisper. BZM is going to be nearby to be able to counter, but the black hole as well. It's decent enough, but surely counter. There's just not enough damage. The follow-up is not there currently for Heroic. Seeming to be lacking. 
some items for them to contest into the strength that OG currently have. Whisper slips on away. In fact, he wants to even jump in to steal the kill and have it on the high crowd. Tomato. Oh, no. uh, it's a defensive Krona from K1. Okay. This kind of. I actually don't think it's necessary to run back. Oh, they say K1. Well, this is the pickoff. And it's just on the best target they could hope for. Oh, my yeah, you carry gone. 50 seconds without him. And now, yeah, you'll get even more value out of the remnant of the ages. You might even get another kill. Oh, we're not done. Another one. All right. <laughs> Freebies galore. I mean, this whisper was just bumping up two games. Mid lane. Mm, analog? They got him. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I was wrong somewhere. And it went wrong really bad and really fast. And no, they promised us 3 oh, minutes 60 tiny, games. I don't know. Dude. Yeah, he's just on point. Every single jump. They promised. Way to get them over the line. Seb top lane is split from the team. If they use Chrono on him, he's more than happy. Uh, oh, surely they won't have to. Surely. Okay, they won't. They're coming though. They are coming though. Coils off the mark. The Vyloma has the BKB to protect him, so he's not going to have this for the black hole now. And without this heroic... Oh, came... he, he time walked in. Just... On top, giving them... You know, just giving them confidence as much as it gives us confidence to push the side ground. Scofield. And you are playing into Chrono. Let's see. Never mind, he's just gone. Tomato has no hesitation just to run even further past the throne. He's got the ages, yeah. Last barracks as well to stop them from getting megas and. Puck? Heroic are going to be lacking a response. And that's going to be laid down to the ground. He's got the Antis to activate. Divide Lama is going to be able to play with the Black Hole. But this isn't your Aegis carrier. The Black Hole, it's just not good enough to turn the fight. You needed more. Had to be multi-man ultimate. Unfortunately, OG doing such a good job to split away. To not even give that possibility. K1 still got Chrono as well. But he too is struggling to find any heroes that clump up together. Analog blown up. Oh, oh, instant telekinesis. Not... Instant, instant, but it well, looks like they should get the kill into the park. A buyback's gonna be actually out from a BZM, so. When I, uh, something, uh, I don't know if it's gonna matter in the end. Yeah, buyback from the puck, buyback from um, the voice spirit. They still want to keep on fighting, but they don't have these big ulties anymore, and now the true power of OG is shown. Ooh. Yeah, they just evaporate. Ooh. <laughs> All right, congratulations, OG. They will move on through the Swiss stage.